Sunday dinner part one. Stay tuned. Good Sunday morning, everybody. Come on in. How are you? Hope you're having a God bless Sunday. Hope um, <clears throat> if you went to church service, that the service was good. Um, and hope that we're lifting, no matter where we are, that we're lifting up the name of the Lord and continue to pray without ceasing, y'all. Just pray without ceasing. Just keep right on doing it. Because I'm going to tell you what, by now I think all of us know that prayer is what gets us from one day to the next. Um, just all manner of things are happening <sighs> all around the world, right in our front yard, backyard, so to speak, right in our own homes even. So we need to continue to pray without ceasing to the glory of God that all things, all things that we know and that we see and receive, that all things work together for the good of those that love the Lord. And I'm going to tell you, we know that, and when we've been obedient and done what we supposed, we've seen the manifested blessings of the Lord somewhere, somehow in our lives along the way. So, I uh, continue to encourage you to pray without ceasing and be kind to others. Uh, you know, we we say the uh, I would say the golden rule. I can remember it growing up. My kindergarten teacher would say, "You do unto others as you would have them do unto you." And you know, when when it go, gets to the interpretive part of that saying, I was thinking about it the other day, as bad as somebody, uh, some people may treat others, it asks, it's, it's an automatic, to me, based on the golden rule, it seems like to me it's an automatic question. As bad as you treat me, would you have me treat you that way? You know, you have to really think about things at times to put them into perspective. And I thought, and I'm, it's crossed my mind, it's been on my mind before, but also give it some deep thought. Remember, even when we are um, chastising our children or, uh, uh, you know, spouse, so to speak, you know, you, you getting after them or telling them, I put it. Is that the way you would want me to speak to you? Is that the way you want me to treat you? <clears throat> no matter if um, if I'm wrong about something, there's always a good way. You don't have to sugar, not saying to sugarcoat or circumvent. I'm saying find a good way. Uh, uh, what's, what's that other scripture said? A uh, kind word turns away wrath. And we're not always able to speak softly, but we can be thoughtful in our speech. So that was just one of those my little soapbox things that comes up every once in a while when I'm thinking about how we treat people and how we get along in this world and how we need to go back and just, you know, just just uh, revisit those things, revisit those times. You know, if you did it, uh, was over the top with it, go back and make it right. Let's go back and make it right. Okay, I can see my oil is getting hot. This is some um, oil that I've used, as you can tell. And it's, you know, as expensive as oil is, Oh yeah, we can reuse it. I've, I've used it once, and uh, I'm getting ready to use it again. It's just uh, where some other chicken was fried. We're going because this chicken here is gonna be fried to a point. These are chicken thighs, and what's on the schedule today to be cooked is jerk chicken. So what I always do with my jerk chicken, I season it. It's been marinated for two or three days, so. We're going to uh, get it into the skillet here. And we're going to pan fry it for about five minutes on each side. And I'm going to put it over here in that pan. And that's what we're going to do the final cooking. So I think I've got maybe 10 of these. 10 or 11 of these. So this is great cooking. I got that heat fired up. But the skillet is getting hot. But I'm going to turn it down a little bit. You know, you got all that dark seasoning in it. It'll turn dark on it. But you know, just is going to look a little bit dark anyway. So you want to let that cook on each side, medium, low heat for, okay, so it's going to totally 10 minutes. So five minutes on each side, okay? Oh, yeah. Just cook it. And what the main thing for me is to cook it like this. It's get a little brown on it. Put some color on it, because that's where that jerk's supposed to have it, 
little reddy color, like a little brown, deep brown color. Yeah, I think I do have um, two or maybe 11 of these chicken thighs. You know, to me, and for me, when I'm doing either curry or jerk, I like to use the thighs because they, they have more taste to them, they're meatier, and they have that good old flavor. And they'll absorb and hold it for you. That's why I love to go ahead and marinate for a few days. So we're going to let those cook, like I say, five minutes on each side. And then we'll come back once we get them all done. Put them in that pan. I'm going to put me some onion in there and some uh, pepper. And we're going to let them cook and put up, make a little uh, jerk gravy almost. And we're going to serve it over rice. Also going to be prepared some stir fry. You know, you got to have some cabbage to put this meal. Stir fried cabbage, and uh, I'm doing some um, strawberry meatball. And you can make a pan of cornbread go along with that cabbage. So you hang tight. Go ahead and get you. As you see, I'm getting my meal started early today. Um, for one thing, I want to get it done and out of the way. The game is today. I don't know who all is coming as far as the kids. I know Tony will be here. I'm not sure if everybody's going to end up over here for our dinner. But whomever, one of my friends is going to come by to pick up some of her stuff, uh, not stuff, but some of her items from our display. So, go ahead and get your stuff ready. Now, I'll wait on you. You can get, you got time to see when you can get it going. Okay, we're going to go ahead and start putting these over into the next pan for phase two. Um, like I said, five minutes on each side is how long we need to cook these to get them um, going. And this cookware will cook on top of stove just like it does um, in the oven. So we cook these, these are 10 minute things. Got the pretty good little brown on them. Okay, yep. Yep, 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 I do have 11 of these. So these are huge, so. Um, they'll make a nice, um, certain one of a night with a good serving. And plus we're having, uh, meatballs as well, so. Get these going in here. And that way I can get my next batch in. Okay. Next batch going in. And it'll take, and I'll, these are going to cook for about an hour and a half. Yeah. I'm going to cook them slow. Um, and low. Cover it over. So these are some nice, they're not too big, but they're big enough to make nice serving size. So. Five minutes on each side to all. Okay, got the last batch ready to come out. And we're going to go ahead and get started. Uh, I'm going to make my... Uh, let's go ahead and put these in. I've got the... Okay, I've got 11 of these, so we have to stack some. Like so. Put, put them all around the pan is what I'm trying to do. <coughs> So they're all evenly. Okay. Okay. Get that one around. Like so, like that. And let's add them in here. So we got. I think what I can do, yeah, that's what we can do. We can move those in a little bit. So just try to distribute them evenly if you're gonna cook like this. This, like I said, this cookware, this is a, I love this cookware because of the way it cooks. It'll get those things nice and tender and be done in no time. So we're gonna turn that heat off now for right now. And I'm just gonna put the lid over. I got this pot on low right now because what I'm gonna do is mix up. I'm gonna make my little mixture that I'm gonna pour over it to get it going to get my little, uh, like a gravy, not a thick gravy, but just something 
so that when they come out of there, they'll be coated and juicy. And when you sit them on that basmati rice, I'm gonna sit this in the oven. Yeah, just a little cooking note. When you're cooking like that, you got that hot skillet, slide it over there to the oven and let it cool off a little bit so you don't burn your hands up. Okay, so got that going. I'm gonna get my um, pan going for my meatball. So I'm gonna go ahead and just sit it there. And we'll, yeah, that's heating up nicely, just like I want it to do. So what I'm going to do here is I'm gonna go ahead and get me a, a mixture going for my um, chicken. Get a little bowl here. Get all my ingredients and we'll get them going. Okay, I'm getting ready to make my little mixture. This is off the top of my head, just based on taste. I'm gonna put me a couple of tablespoons of my jerk seasoning in. This is the one that I use right here. Walker's Wood Traditional Jamaican Jerk Seasoning. Mild. No, I tell you, I, my mouth is tender. I can't do that uh, heavy stuff. So. I'm gonna put about a tablespoon of uh, soy sauce in there. Okay. And look, this is trial and error. I haven't tested this season because sometimes I just let it make on its own. But we're gonna do it since we're cooking it differently. So this is soy sauce. Okay. One tablespoon of soy. And I've got some chopped bell peppers and onions in there. Extra added flavor, so. Uh, this is going to be about a half teaspoon of sage. I got my aromatics in there. Y'all know that. And um, I'm only going to put a little bit of my, I'm going to put some, uh, let me get over here to uh, some of my favorite seasoning. My favorite seasonings over here. Y'all know what they are. Let me get over here to my garlic powder. Put about a teaspoon of garlic powder in there. Okay. Is that good? Garlic powder. Then we got to get some onion powder. Onion. Okay. And we're going to get us some chicken base going. You know, we got to get some chicken base in there. Got to get some chicken base. Teaspoon of chicken base. And because it's salty, we're not gonna use a teaspoon, but we need that flavor. We need that flavor in there. Okay. And uh, let me see, I'm missing one thing. What am I missing? What am I missing? Oh, the one that I was started out talking about. I put some of my masala curry powder in there because it just it gives it, it lends that flavor to it. It gives that, um, uh, I, and it's, then I got some mixed with turmeric. So this one is hot, so I can't put a lot. I don't want to make it too hot because I've already got a little heat in there. So we're going to put about a half a teaspoon of my curry powder in there. This is uh, my curry powder for my dear friend, Fitma. And we're still praying for her family for that loss. She was a sweet, sweet individual. Tell you the truth, she was. Sight unseen, she fell, um, I think fell in love with me like I did with her. Love her spirit. And um, <clears throat> I have got some uh, other spices. Hold on one sec. Okay, I'm back. I've got about a half a teaspoon. This is turmeric root. This is so I had to get it out of my package. That's all the turmeric I have. So I'm going to mix all this up together. <clears throat> Not going to do a lot of water in here. Okay. Not a lot, not a lot, not a lot. Mix all that together. Probably put about a cup of water in there. A couple of, it's kind of hot, y'all. So, something in there is hot. This is what it should look like now.
I'm gonna pour it right on top of that chicken and put the, keep the lid on it and let it cook. And it's gonna be some kind of good when it comes out. Of course, you know, at some point I'm gonna put me some. Let me go ahead and put my butter in now. Do my butter now and just let it meal together. And I'm gonna turn it on medium low heat on top of the stove. Now, if you put it in the oven, 350 is good. Because I'm gonna put my butter in at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and um, run this through the microwave and melt that butter down. Well, I can do it right here. I don't have to do all that because I'm gonna do meat, but we can just rinse this pan out. So we're gonna do this like this. Okay. Let's fire it up right quick right there. You know when you are uh, when you buy cookware, please make sure that you buy stuff that can serve multiple purposes. Okay, and while that's brewing and cooking, I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, do a. I decided I'm gonna do a broccoli salad because I think we got this this uh, <clears throat> the jerk is gonna be kind of heated. So I'm gonna use some. When you okay, let me just say this: certain dishes you cook, you need like a cool down thing. Since I'm doing the stir, usually it will be coleslaw, but since I'm doing the stir fried cabbage, I'm gonna I'm gonna make a broccoli uh, salad. So that'll cool down this, you know, a little bit of sweet and a little bit of cool to cool that flavor down a little bit. So we got it going on, y'all. And just whenever you make this mixture, if it's not what you want, if it's too strong, hey, tone it down. If it's not strong enough, add you some more ingredients in there and keep it moving, okay? Um, to spice up my pot and to make it look pretty, I'm going to put me some of those different color peppers in there just to make it look pretty, y'all. I'm going to throw in a couple peppers around the pot. My uh, mini... Oh... Poor everyone's, poor everyone's, many poor everyone's. I guess it's, I never even noticed that. Wild Wonders, these are just different color of little, I call them little different color bell peppers. Because they have that flavor. But the color is so pretty and so vibrant. And since the jerk is, you know, mainly dark colors, I'm just going to stick four or five of those in there just to uh, make the pot look pretty is all I'm doing. So just make sure you wash them real good. Uh, cut the tops off and throw them in there. Okay, y'all, I did need to go ahead and um, fire that up and get it going because I forgot my celery. I threw some celery in there. Um, about one stalk of celery in there. And you can take it back out when you get rid of celery in this, but I want that season, that flavor in there. Also, I put a um, half a teaspoon of tarragon leaves and a half a teaspoon of, um, of what do you call it? I don't have thyme. I want some thyme to go in there. Cilantro. So, we got everything ready. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pour this out. I'm not going to put all of this because I'm going to save some of this for later because I know I'm going to have to make a little bit of gravy. Got to have something to go with that rust. Just going to pour it up for now. Now all of this can go, let me get over here so I can do what I need to do. Okay, it's time to go ahead and get, <clears throat> get my broth going on top of, uh, so I can turn that heat up now because I got some liquid in there. But I'm gonna pour just like so, just pour it right over the chicken. I'm going to leave a little bit in there, just a little bit, a little bit at base is what I need. I'm going to get all my veggies out. I always like to have a little bit of original base to go over that away. Okay, make sure everything's coated. Put that celery down in there in the middle. And then what I'm going to do, I got my little different colored peppers. I'm just going to place them around like that. Because I love to eat these. I want to just eat them. Eat them, eat them, eat them. And that just makes them look right cute. 
Okay, so what I'm going to do now is go ahead and <clears throat> put the lid on and let it start cooking. It's going to cook right on top of the stove. And we're going to have us some good old pump that heat up to get it going. Then I'll back it back down and let it simmer for about an hour and a half, I think. Well, maybe an hour and 15 minutes, an hour and a half. We don't want to cook, cook it too long. <clears throat> we're going to have it night. Well, it's going to be juicy because I put that mixture in there. So we're going to go ahead and let that get fired up. A few minutes, it'll be going. And we'll have that done. So now what we're going to get going over here on this next burner <clears throat> something real simple probably the simplest thing I'll be making today I'm going to do some meatballs I'm going to probably do a pound and a half of uh, these are called home style meatballs they're made out of uh, chicken, beef, and pork and this is a pretty good brand they work pretty well I think and it, you know the old lifted onion soup mix and a jar of jelly <clears throat> I'm using farm rich this I don't have a good pound of hair. I might put a few little kids' little meatballs. I don't know if the little ones will be here. And one thing about meatballs, they freeze well. They freeze very, very well. So all I got to do here, get them going in there. We've got recipes going back in the fridge. And I've chosen to put strawberry jelly on these. So strawberry jelly and Lipton onion soup mix is what we're gonna put on there. I decided I want strawberry jam this time. So we got us a nice jar of strawberry jam. And this, like I said, this is probably one of the, this is one of those potluck, um, <coughs> excuse me, one of those potluck recipes that I learned years ago when I was working. So you just turn the heat on Get your jam going. And once the heat hits it, it'll melt it right down over those meatballs. And I think strawberry jam will be just absolutely wonderful. I don't think I'm going to need the whole jar, but if we do, we'll put some more. So this is uh, two pounds of meatballs and half of a 32 ounce. So we're going to do just do 16 ounces of the jam for right now and see what's what's cooking with that. We're gonna put in some, uh, one package of this Lipton onion soup mix. Let's see, I've got two, oh well, there's a whole pack, so I know I have the right amount going on, so. Shake it up real good. Like so, out. And then just sprinkle it right on top. Let everything melt down. Because those meatballs are frozen, so it'll it'll yield some um, broth in there. And then when it gets melted down, just stir them up, cover them up, and cook them for about 20, 30 minutes, I guess. Should do it. Okay. That's one of them easy, easy ones, y'all. Easy recipe. You don't even have to worry about You don't even have to ask me just pay for what you put in it because, oops, there it is all over right there. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, all of it right there. Put a little bit of butter in there. I like that nice buttery flavor. I'm going to put a little bit of black pepper. That's probably the only thing that will go in here that you usually don't see is butter and black pepper. Put a tablespoon of black pepper, I mean butter. Like so. This is my blocker, but I'm putting off over here on the side. Okay. Okay. It's all about flavor, y'all. So that's the meatballs. <clears throat> 